What's up guys, I'm Arsene from RossMarsTech.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to unclog a Robo 3D R1 print head. Now, I know you guys have probably been wondering why haven't I done a video in such a long time. Now the reason I haven't done a video in a long time is because I've been working crazy hours at my job. I've been working 7 days a week for the past month. That's like 70 hours a week and yeah, so it's been pretty hard to uh, to do anything video related or YouTube related. So today I finally got a chance because today's my first day off in such a long time to uh, show you guys my printer. I got this printer about a month ago. I've been using it, but I haven't really done any videos showing you guys how it's performing. But I got a lot of cool prints. I was supposed to do a project where I show you guys how to create a Stargate. I have some of the pieces in the background. That project is still going to go on, but uh, it's going to take a little bit of time. So if you guys are waiting for that project, uh, I will finish it, but it will take time. So please be patient. All right, guys, I'm also getting a new print head for this printer. It's called the E3D V6. And uh, this print head is going to allow me to print in pretty much any material that I want. Uh, nylon, Ninja Flex, PLA, ABS, anything, uh, bronze, any type of material that I want. And I can't wait. I'm getting this tomorrow. But until then, I want to print some parts uh, for this new uh, print head. So uh, let's get started. All right, guys. So this is the Robo 3D R1. I just removed the top and it's pretty easy to remove the top. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. But as you can see right here, there are screws on each side. There are two screws on each side and all you have to do is remove those screws and pull the top off. And there's also some Velcro that you have to uh, clip. I'm sorry, I meant zip tie. There's one piece of zip tie that you have to cut on top. And you also have to clip one zip tie that was holding these cables over here. So there's two uh, zip ties you guys have to clip. And uh, that, that one zip tie was holding these cables here and the other zip tie was holding this to the top of the case. So that's the only things you really need to clip. Now, so let's just show you guys uh, the extruder. So right here, I clipped the zip tie that was up here. Now the cables are loose and this is the extruder or hot end right here. And on this side, there are two screws. And all you have to do to remove the extruder is take out these two screws right here. Uh, unscrew them and then there are two cables we have to take out one cable but they both go to the extruder and one of them is right here so this is the two cables we have to take out now that those two cables are removed we're going to have to remove these two screws here these are the only two screws holding together the hot end once we remove those two screws the hot end should fall out now all you have to do is just shake it out and it should pop up pop out and as you can see, this is where it got jammed. I was using uh, transparent PLA and it got jammed in the, the hot end. So this is the PLA I have to remove. Once I remove this uh, PLA, the jam should be clear. All right, guys, so th here's the hot end right now. I uh, had to connect it back to the printer and I had to t turn on the software to heat up the hot end because as you can see, the filament over there was stuck in the hot part of the hot end. So I needed to heat it up so I could remove it. So that's why I reconnected everything. Uh, so the hot end will get hot again. So once it gets to a good temperature, I'm just going to be able to uh, remove the filament right there. So, so right now the hot end is at 198 and I'm looking to get to 235. So I'm going to give it about a minute to heat up and let it heat up for a minute. Once it heats up, I'm just going to pull it right up. All right guys, so let's test this out. Let it heat up for a while. Let me get my tools here. I'm just going to hold this in place. And not let it fall out and I'm just gonna grab this end. Let's see if it pops right out. And there it goes. It's that easy. It's coming right out. Gotta give it up. Gotta do this easy. Don't try to pull it out too hard or, or it'll break even more. Alright, so now it's completely out as you can see. Alright guys, pretty simple. There goes the hot end right there without uh, the material stuck in it. Since the material was stuck in the hot part, I needed to heat up the hot end. All I did was Reconnected cables back into the printer. I uh, connected the printer to my laptop, opened up matter control, then all I needed to do was heat up the hot end, and that was it. Let it heat up so that I can pull out the material. Very easy to do. The only thing that holds the, the hot end to the printer are two screws. Two screws and two cables, basically, and that's it. And it took me like two minutes just to remove them. And I'm gonna connect everything back to the printer, and uh, I'm gonna do a test print, so I'll see you in a second. All right guys, as you can see, the printer is working again. 
and it's printing out beautifully. I was able to reconnect everything and that clogged uh, hot end was fixed, so everything is working as it should. Now, right now, as you can see, I'm printing out a new part. This is a new fan shroud. Once I get my new E3D hot end, this is going to be the fan shroud that's gonna go onto this printer. It's a 40 millimeter fan that's gonna go on this shroud and it's gonna blow cold air directly onto the hot end. So I'm excited to get that new hot end. Once I do get that hot end, I'm going to do a video showing you guys how to connect it and how uh, it prints out. So I, I'm really excited. If you guys wanna check out this new shroud, this is it right here. I'm really excited to get this thing done and install it. But uh, if you guys are interested in getting one of these printers out for yourself, this is the Robo 3D R1. I love this freaking printer. It's only like $799. And I highly, highly recommend it to anybody looking to get a printer or a first printer. And uh, the links will be in the description if you guys are interested. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RustinMartech.com and thanks for watching.